Okay, in this box is the Raspberry Pi 3, I think. So uh, let's take a look at it. It seems to open pretty simply. I'm going to slide out of it, hopefully there, a little bit of camera wobble. Oh, and there she is, Raspberry Pi 3. Let's get a bit close up into there. HDMI. There's a lot of camera wobble. Broadcom chip. System on the chip. You can see the, uh, the printing on there. They'll be producing these for a while. But look at the things. It's got 2015 stamped up on it. Uh, there's the HDMI. Uh, USB power. Pretty much everything um, in terms of physical appearances and ports and what have you uh, is the same as the Raspberry Pi 2. Well, clearly, um, quite a bit different to the um, Pi Zero. Uh, well, it's smaller uh, connectors for uh, uh, well, there's it's much smaller HDMI for instance and it's got a dedicated power USB so uh, this is my Raspberry Pi 3 which just arrived today it looks um, great hopefully yours will look as good as well and uh, it's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in and it's uh, been ramped up a bit it's got a faster CPU um, so boot time is about halved from the um, old Raspberry Pi 2 uh, into, Ras uh, into Raspbian at least, but uh, what I'm going to be doing with this in particular is uh, taking advantage of the built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities of this, uh, which uh, frees up a bit of, uh, of USB portage and hopefully gets over a couple of driver issues which have been uh, plaguing some of my projects of late, thanks to um, some of the USB dongles I've chosen. Uh, so that's that, Raspberry Pi 3 unboxed. Thank you, the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Great work.